Okay, so what we're going to work on today are complex numbers and powers of i. So this is a new unit. All right, so I would like you to try the try this and put me on pause and then come back. Okay, so we have uh, the square root of 4, and we should all know that the square root of 4 is 2. So now, what if I ask you, what is the square root of negative 4? So remember, a square root is asking what number multiplied by itself is negative 4. Well, that can't happen because in order to get negative 4, you'd have to have negative 2 times positive 2 to get negative 4. You need a number multiplied by itself. So this would be no real roots. All right, what about the square root of 25? Well, the square root of 25 is 5. What about the square root of negative 25? Well, that would be no real roots. Okay, so... This is where imaginary numbers come in now. So what is the square root of negative 1? Well, we can't have that. So this is called an imaginary unit called i. i for imaginary. So when I ask you what's the square root of negative 1, you would tell me i. All right, so what if I ask you, take a look at the examples, negative the square root of negative 1. So I have this negative here, comes on the outside, and then what's the square root of negative 1? And that's i. So I have negative i. What about the square root of negative 7? So this is the square root of 1 times the square root of 7. The square root of 1 is i, and then I have the square root of 7 because I can't take the square root of 7. So it's i, the square root of 7. What about the square root? Of negative 25 so the negative becomes your i and then you have the square root of 25 which is 5 so it would be 5i and the i would go after because uh, it's like a, a variable all right so if I have negative 2 the square root of negative 9 so I have negative 2 times now the square root of negative 9 would be 3i which would be negative 6i all right so now let's talk about simplifying Simplifying is the same way as before, except now you have that negative. So the negative becomes your i, and then the square root of 20 would be the square root of 4 times the square root of 5. And the square root of 4 is 2, so it would be 2i, the square root of 5. 5, the square root of negative 72. So it would be 5 times the square root of, the square root of 72 would be 36 times 2. And the ne negative becomes i. So it would be 5i times the square root of 36 is 6, the square root of 2, and this then becomes 30i, the square root of 2. All right, so now let's talk about the powers of i. So we have i to the 0. Well, we know anything to the 0 power, because this is from our laws of exponents, anything to the 0 power is equal to 1. We have i to the first power, anything to the first power is itself, which is i. Now we have i squared, so that comes from this. So remember, the square root of negative 1 is i. So i could get rid of the square root by squaring both sides. So then they take care of each other, they cancel each other out. So I get negative 1 is equal to i squared. So therefore, i squared is equal to negative 1. Now I have i to the third. Well, i to the third would be i squared times i. i squared is negative 1 times i, which is negative i. All right, now let's try i to the fourth. i to the fourth is i squared times i squared. i squared is negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. i to the fifth is going to be i to the fourth times i. i to the fourth we just did is 1 times i, which is i. i to the sixth would be i to the fifth times i. i to the fifth is i times i, which is i squared, and i squared is negative 1. i to the 7th, so I have i to the 6 times i. i to the 6 is negative 1 times i, which is negative i. So now I want you to look. Look at what we had here. We had a 1, i, negative 1, negative i. 1, i, negative 1, negative i. So take a guess. What do you think i to the 8th is going to be? Yes, it's going to be 1. And then i to the 9th is going to be I. And then i to the 10th is going to be negative 1. And then if I ask you i to the 11th, that's going to be 
negative i. So it goes around. It goes around in a cycle of four. So we could do i to the 82, which is down here, but it would, we would have to divide by four, get the remainder. So we could use our calculator for this. So in your calculator, you're going to press math. You're going to go to the right over to number. It says NUM. You want number three, which says I part. And then you're going to type in your I exponent and whatever your number is. Your I is by the decimal. And then press enter. So you have to do second decimal and that's your I. So just take a look at that on your calculator. All right, so let's try that. So I'm just going to move everything up. I to the 82. So you're going to press math. You're going to go over to number, and then you're going to go to number three, which is I part, and they'll come up on your screen like this, and then you're going to type in I, right, find that by the decimal, carrot key, 82, and then hit enter, and you get negative one. So let's do I to the 99. So it's math, go over to num. Number three, I part, type in I, carrot key 99, and you get negative I. So let's try I to the 300. So it's math, go over to num, number three, I part. I, carrot key, 300. Hit enter, and you get 1. All right, so you guys try I to the 2001. So I, so pass math, go over to number, number 3, I part, do I, carrot key, 2001, and hopefully you got I. All right, so now how do we do uh, this expression here? which is 2i squared times 3i to the third. So you can't, you can't plug this whole thing in at one time. You have to do each piece separately. So you're going to do 2, and then you're going to hit math. Now you're going to do your i part. Math, go over to num, number 3, i part. So it'll look like this on your screen. 2i part, now type in i squared. And you get negative 2. And do the same, and then we're going to multiply that times whatever 3i to the third is. And that comes out to be negative 3i. And then we have negative 2 times negative 3i is positive 6i. Now, 3i to the third squared. So remember our uh, rules for exponents. Rules for exponents. Right? So I have power of a product. So it's 3 squared i to the third squared. So that's 9i to the 6. So you're going to do 9i part, i to the 6th power, and you get negative 9. Okay, so that's it, and we'll practice more in class tomorrow. Have a good night.